Well, hi, welcome to our basic PyTAR training session. And this session will be covering two aspects of our PyTAR function. The first one will be looking into drawer generator, and the second function that we'll be looking at is our part list. Okay, you can see right here in the middle I have a plain carcass over here, and we'll proceed to do our drawer generator. Okay, so let's go to generator on the right hand side here. Click on it once, and you can see drawer here. Right click one more time. Okay, you can see straight away. Uh, Python is asking for you for a major point over here when you look at the command line. Okay, so the first major point for our drawer generator will be our bottom left front where my mouse is right here. I repeat bottom left front. Click on it once and you can see Python asks for our second point. Our second point will be top right front. I repeat top right front. Click on it and you can see that we have a dialog box that pops up over here all right so let me just quickly briefly run through over here okay the left hand part of the dialog box over here where my mouse is hovering control the front of our drawer all right and the middle here control your drawer box okay and here we can control the number of drawers that we want to do and over here we can do whether we want to have shells or not and over here we have our runner list okay so let me just give a more detailed explanation of what is going on here okay you can see over here on the left side the dimension the width all right the height okay the thickness control this refers to the front panel that we have okay this refers to this front panel over here all right and we can also change the drawer to an outside front okay we can see is now outside front okay so that's where we can change the settings all right so let me just put it back okay and let me just explain to you then what is the gap over here okay this gap over here let me just a screenshot okay okay so this gap that we have okay there is two now refers to the gap here where my red line is okay so this control the gap between your drawers over here and we also hang control the gap on the outside area let me just change the blue pen okay you can see over here the distance where you put equal one each refers to the gap where my blue line is tracing out here all right so you can actually control if you don't want it to be equal, you can actually change it to maybe 2, 1, 2, 2, okay, for example, okay, but for um, easy reference, we just keep 1 and we'll keep it to equal so that we have equal gap between all of them and we can change the gap to 1 as well, okay, one of the things to take note when you're designing a drawer and when you're using the drawer generator is that uh, remember to leave at least a 1mm gap, all right, because if you have a 0mm gap, your drawer will not be able to go in all right and over here you can see you can change the handle all right so this is where we can control the number of drawers the drawer box you can see that we can control the height okay let me just turn off the solid over here okay so you can see that the height is over here okay the height the side panel thickness um, where is your offset for your runner okay the bottom panel dimensions okay you can see you can put whether there's grooving on the side and the front or whether you're in the groove at the back okay the back panel what's the dimension the height and the thickness and you can also include whether you want a front part over here you can see keep a lookout for this block over here when i off it there is the front part is removed okay this is where you can control as well okay so have a look at this panel over here you can see that there is a shelf under every drawer this is controlled by here where my mouse is you can actually change it okay you can change and remove it okay so you can see you can also adjust the thickness and the depth okay and also lastly we have the bloom runner list over here okay uh, this currently the setting is set as bloom standard 350 okay let me just turn off our solid and tilt it a little bit okay so you can see as I change my runner list, for example, 600, okay, you notice, oh, I have some red, um, my 
drawer is way too deep okay it's too long for my carcass and so this is a good uh, gauge where you can do your drawing and you can know whether it is a good fit or not okay look at if i change it down to 400 it's still a little bit protruding out so let's bring it down to 350 all right this should be a good fit over here all right so let me just turn off the solid again let me show you the some tricks on this okay you would have realized that there is some red dots over here where my mouse is all right these red dots are actually the cnc data from using a bloom standard 350 so if i were to change it to a uh, uh, let's see bloom tandem 350 okay you might see that the let me see if the dots changes okay let me try to find okay i'll use a heat teach 350 you can see the red dots actually changes okay so these red dots are the cnc details of the roller that you have used okay so when i'm happy with this i'll just click ok and i can and this draw is just being done nicely for you okay so the good thing about this uh drawer generator is that all the cnc details are already given to you based on the runner list all right so let me just quickly go on to our part list okay let's go to click on main and we can go to part list over here all right click one more time okay when we go to part list we can select what we want okay let's click on all parts on the right hand side here let's click all parts to select it and hit enter so straight away you can see that Python generates your part list okay one thing to note is that you can see okay a part list actually takes name from our project tree so it is very important to name your parts appropriately okay so right now we have this part list and we can include more details okay so on my mouse on over here this blank space right click insert color right okay let's click on attribute bring it down to dimension box l1 click on it and click ok so we can add in l2 and l3 as well so we're going to proceed with it right click insert column right click on attribute and choose dimension box l2 and click ok next thing insert again and insert column right attribute dimension box l3 and ok so right now you can see that we have the dimension of all our panels over here okay one key thing to note is that when we talk about l1 in Python, l1 refers to the longest length longest dimension okay l2 refers to the short second longest one and l3 is the shortest length so l3 is usually typical uh, dimension of the panel that you are using okay it gives you an estimate on uh, what kind of panels that you have like 18 mm 20 mm 8 mm etc okay so this is where we can use your um, part list okay we can also export okay you can look on the right hand side over here you can actually export our part list to a text file or let me just let it okay sorry again this is a file name okay we can just export it to a text file or a excel spreadsheet even word document okay so this is a very good when you do your documentation okay so let me just so you can see pretty easily Python generates everything for you. Okay, so thank you for your time and we'll see you in other training sessions. Thank you.